Let's make Earl Grey Lavender Macarons. With a sieve nested inside your mixing bowl, weigh out 107 grams of almond flour. Zero out your scale and then add 171 grams of powdered sugar. I'm going to use four bags of Twining's Earl Grey Lavender Tea. Cut open the bags and then simply add in the tea leaves. This will give you a subtle flavor, so please feel free to add more if you like a strong Earl Grey flavor. We're going to sift all the dry ingredients together so that there's no lumps and it'll be a smooth macaron. We're going to separate about three eggs so we get 108 grams of egg whites. We're going to save the yolks because we're going to use them in the frosting. We're adding 81 grams of sugar to the egg whites, mixing on low and then medium until we get stiff peaks. I'm adding just a couple of drops of lavender extract to make sure that there is no oil in the extract and a couple of drops of lavender food gel until you get it the color you want. When you're happy with the color of the egg whites, add in the, all the dry ingredients and gently fold to combine. When you can make a lava ribbon, a figure eight like we see here, you know you're done. Gently spoon the batter into a piping bag. I'm using a macaron template, but feel free to pipe them any size that you want. Firmly tap your pans a couple of times to remove any air bubbles. Use a toothpick to pop any air bubbles that might remain. Set your oven to 290 degrees Fahrenheit and then let your macarons rest until they have a nice hard shell on top. I rotated them after about nine minutes and so they cook evenly and then take them out after about 18 or 19 minutes. This is what they should look like. The bottom should pull off evenly and they should have nice, beautiful, tall feet. While they're cooling, let's make the French buttercream. Let's take those three egg yolks and dump them into a bowl and mix them until they're nice and frothy. With a pan set to medium heat, add a half a cup of sugar and three tablespoons of water. Let it come to a boil. Whisk to combine and then it needs to come to 240 degrees Fahrenheit. While your beaters are still uh, going in the eggs, add in the very hot syrup. This will make them not scramble. When the buttercream is warm but no longer hot, add in cubes of butter. We are adding in one full cup. Whip each until it's incorporated. I'm adding a teaspoon of vanilla and just a pinch of salt to help really bring out the flavors. Then mix again until nice and creamy. This buttercream tastes so delicious, you're going to want to eat it all at this point. Scrape it into a pastry bag and we're going to get ready to pipe our macarons. Pipe circles on your macaron shells, making sure you don't go all the way out to the edges. Then you're going to find a matching sized macaron other half and you're going to gently put pressure to combine and that is exactly what they're supposed to look like, the finished product. This is so good looking. And I love the contrast, the purple, the lavender color gives, and then the contrast of the white filling. This French buttercream is, it's just, man, I am absolutely salivating right now. Let's take a bite. Mmm. Mmm. You taste definitely the lavender, but it's not so much that it's soapy. And then at the very end, like the after flavor is the Earl Grey that you put into the macaron cookie part. And then it's just tempered from both of those kind of sharp tastes by this really creamy French buttercream that is absolutely delicious. The top of the shell is crunchy. The middle part is chewy. They're so, so good. I hope you get a chance to try your hand at macarons and don't give up. I've had an entire pan flow together before because I overbeat my batter, but I just made them again and I made them again and you don't give up and you'll get this. Let me know if this works for you. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.